there, inventors! It's Tails here, and welcome back to another episode of Ask Tails. A huge thank you to everybody who took the time to leave me a question. If you didn't get chosen for this episode, I'm really sorry, but you can always try again next time. So the first question is from Kalani Cortez. Do you think Sonic and Sonica will get along, or just fight about who's the fastest? Well, there is only one true way for them to settle this. To actually have a race and see who wins. I have a feeling they're gonna be neck and neck, though. Don't tell Sonica, but my money's on Sonic. Always gotta support the best buddy. Next question is from Master Aaron. Hey, Tails, if you were to wear clothes, as in t-shirts or pants, what would you wear and why? Well, I would wear something practical. Maybe some overalls, you know, to avoid getting oil stains and stuff on my fur, because that happens sometimes. You see this picture here? Something a little bit like this. And of course, I would keep wearing my trusty goggles. Next question is, okay, not really a question, but an insult, I guess, from Brandon Ray. Tails is British is coming out. Uh, Britishness, I say. It is not actually Britishness. It is intelligence. Which is something somebody of your caliber could never hope to understand. I hope we cleared that up. <laughs> Next question is from Sahil89. What are your thoughts on Metal Sonic? P.S. You're my favorite character. I think you guys like saying that because you think it's going to get you in the episode. Good tactic. Well, Metal Sonic is a little bit weird looking, but I have to admire Dr. Eggman. Metal Sonic is a really impressive robot. I mean, he's as fast as Sonic for one. His acceleration power must be crazy. Metal Sonic was kind of like the classic evil Sonic before Shadow came along. I'm still glad Sega put Metal Sonic in the games, since old school fans really like him. You gotta admit, fighting Metal Sonic as a boss, it's pretty fun, right? One day though, I'll reprogram him and I'll make him good. Then he can fight for us against Eggman. Sound like a plan? Yeah, it sounds like a plan. From Sonic and Tails Precure 2019. Hey Tails, who called you and Sonic the Unbreakable Bond? And how does that name describe you and Sonic? Hashtag Sonic and Tails Best Bros Forever! You guys should totally do that in the comments too, by the way. The Unbreakable Bond title first appeared in Sonic Advance 3. When you would select me and Sonic as a team, Unbreakable Bond would be the name of our duo. I look up to Sonic as an older brother. And he's my best friend, of course. I feel like we have a friendship that can never be broken. So... Unbreakable Bond describes our friendship really well. I don't know why people ship us together sometimes, it's just kind of weird. We're bros, okay? And that's it. I wonder who the genius is in Sonic Team that actually came up with Unbreakable Bond. I tried researching online, but it, but it doesn't say anyone specifically who came up with it. Maybe it was Yuji Naka. You know, Sonic's dad. That would make sense. That's the uh, creator of Sonic, in case uh, some of you don't. Next question is from Sonic Rayman Fan 345. Hey Tails, I always wonder, how can Sonic eat so many chili dogs when his belly is small and he does not have a neck? I mean, we have necks, they're just, you know, kind of under our giant heads, that's all. My friend Sonic, though, boy, does he have an appetite. With all the running that he does, he burns off a lot of calories, so he gets really hungry because he has an extremely fast metabolism. When you're doing that much running, you're gonna get hungry. And he poops whilst he's running. From Jordan Tellis, since Michael Jackson helped make the soundtrack for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, what is your favorite song by Michael Jackson? Yeah, Michael was a pretty cool dude. It's a real shame that he's no longer with us. R.I.P. Michael Jackson. Well... I guess my favorite Michael song would have to be... You've been hit by, you've been struck by, a smooth criminal. Not only is the song super catchy, the video is so cool. He was not only an amazing singer, but an amazing dancer. And that music video really showcases that. Did you guys know that Michael Jackson was actually in a Sega game called Space Channel 5 Part 2? And his character was called Space Michael, and he actually voiced him. Bet some of you didn't know that, huh? Right, I know. Total nerd. Moving on. From Brandon Heat. Did you know Shadow has a chow? It's a semi-canon in the Sonic Channel artwork, and there's even a pop figure. Well, 
I have seen Sonic Channel's artwork before, but I had no idea that there was a pop figure of Shadow with his chow. That is awesome. But the real question is, when are we gonna get a Tails figure with a Tails chow? You gotta admit that Tails chows are really adorable, but I have to say Shadow's chow is pretty cute. You think Shadow would look a little less grumpy since he's got a little cute chow with him, but uh, <laughs> I guess there's no cheering him up, is there? Thanks for sharing that with me. From Jameson Jellyfish. Wow, I really love your name. Hey Tails, would you rather be with Amy for a day or Shadow? Well, I've had my fair amount of days having Amy hanging around me already. And the last time that I hung out with Shadow was when we played Sonic World. And believe it or not, it actually went pretty well. So I would be down to hang out with Shadow again. Amy I can't seem to get rid of. When me and Sonic are trying to have time by ourselves, she is always at the door making excuses as to why she needed to come over. Shadow used to be kind of mean, but he's an okay dude now. What about you guys in the comments section? Would you rather spend a day with Amy or Shadow? Choose wisely now. From Fiverr and Heather's channel. You ever think of playing Would You Rather with Dr. Eggman? I would like to have Dr. Eggman on the channel, I guess for you guys. The problem is, he's evil. What if he tries to capture me or pull a trick on me or something? If I can find a way to make sure that he's not gonna betray me, then perhaps I'll bring him on the channel. Is Dr. Julian Robotnik from Sonic Sat AM the father of Dr. Eggman? Well, the thing about Sat AM, think of it as an alternate dimension. Now, Eggman has always been called Eggman in the Japanese versions of Sonic. However, in the old cartoons and comics created by America, Eggman used to go by Dr. Robotnik. But his former name before becoming Robotnik was Julian Kintiber. So, that name is not canon to the game franchise. It's a comic thing. It's an Archie thing. I hope that kind of clears it up for you. I know, there's so many different versions of Sonic and Eggman and me and everyone else, it's kind of hard to keep up. From Nathan Shales. Tails, can you react to TSR Line's animated episode 2? Alright, reaction time. Okay, here we go. Well, this looks weird. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, man. Don't tell me. No! I'm all up in your mustache, Eggman. <laughs> Somebody throw me a bone here. Really? Come on, Rouge, do your homework. Okay, now that I can really see happening. That worked because science. Yes, yeah, science. Hey, what's a little acceleration between friends? <laughs> I look so cool. I guess. I'm banned from this place for counting cars. <laughs> ah, that was actually, that was really good. I enjoyed that so much. So I'll be leaving a link to that video in the description below. And big shout out to Pixel Rush. Go on over and subscribe to them, guys. Thanks for the reaction suggestion from Chili. Tails, please, can I get on ass tails? Okay. Anyway, my question is, what made you love inventing? Well, I've kind of answered a question similar to this before. But why I really loved inventing was, well, I didn't really have any friends when I was younger. Nobody wanted to hang out with me because they said I looked like a two-tailed freak. So I had a lot of spare time since playing by yourself was kind of boring. I discovered that I love putting things together and that I was really good at it. It just helped me take my mind off the fact that I was lonely. I guess I am a natural genius, which helped. So I didn't really get frustrated when I was trying to learn new things, but I just had a lot of time by myself to concentrate and study. Although, I do wish I had met Sonic a lot sooner in life, then I would have been less lonely. But perhaps I wouldn't have been as clever as I am now. <laughs> no way, I'd still be a genius. And our last question is from Shay J Multiversal. Have you ever tried singing a beautiful song for Zoe? Like Alden John's version of Can You Feel the Love Tonight? I think she'd love that. Well, the last time I tried to go all Broadway on Zoe, she thought I was weird. You know, when I dressed up as the uh, Phantom of the Opera, she thought I was going crazy. So if I try singing, I'm not sure she's even gonna like that. At least the Lion King is a little more recognizable than the Phantom of the Opera, right? I would try singing it for you now, but Disney would probably sue me because they're like that, because they're butts. 
And I'm also working having Zoe appear on my channel pretty soon, guys. So keep an eye out for that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And leave your questions in the comments section for the next episode. Remember to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss a video from me. Until next time, inventors.